it carries an e electrons. Its rate will be how much? M into G. That is acting downward. So it is falling freely. There may be some air inside it. Because of that, it may acquire terminal velocity. So it's falling with some speed. I am not telling when it is falling with some terminal velocity. I take it only that this is a charge droplet whose weight is mg is going down. And now I switch on this electric field here. This becomes positive, this becomes negative. So I apply a positive voltage here. What are we looking for? This negative charge will be affected by this. It's really more negligent. At a particular point, I apply the voltage and I make it suspended. Means the force with which it is going up is equal to the first. Aapka e will be s. Force with which it is going up is what? E into n e. And what is the rate? Mg. This is the basic question. What is e? e? Is the electric field between the two. That is, I have told you. If you know the distance between the two, voltage, divide voltage by the length between the two plates, capacitors may have a Then you will come to know. Then this charge particle will have a force due to electric field in upward direction Fp. Capital N. And rate is acting down. So we have to balance these two forces. When these two forces are balanced, then the droplet gets hanged. If you shut this electric field, then it will fall. If you make it more, it will start going up. But we balance this and really it, it comes, here is a telescope somewhere. It comes in the field of view of the telescope. If you look at the telescope, it has got a crosswire like this. And you make it stationary somewhere here. In the field of view of the telescope. This is the equation which is going there. Okay? Suppose n is 1. Then what is the? How will you find Fg? Your question was there, Vishay? Sir, the oil droplet, huh? it, has, it absorbs the electrons. Uh -huh. So the mass of the oil droplet will also contain the mass of the electrons. That is negligible. Right. That, that ever can be taken. That can be, that we say, mass, how much is the mass? 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. It's extremely small. But then you cannot neglect also. Huh? So there can be some error. What do you want to say? If there are, suppose there is one electron, the, uh, how much it will come? 10 raised to the minus. What are we finding from here? We are finding E. How will we find Fg? E you can find. E is equal to V by L. So voltage between the length of this V by L is there. G you know, how will find the mass of the droplet? So are you using this equation only? What? Huh? Using this equation only. Ah. Technically, now I will tell you a very, very important concept. This is called the concept of terminal velocity. And I know, you don't want to make, I'm just telling you this is a basic question. If you suspend the oil drop like this, what will happen? Two forces are equal, but this never happens. When two forces are equal, try to understand, when a body is moving, it's falling. Gravity is there. If force I make some force acting against the gravity. At this moment, the speed will start decreasing, it will come here. What will happen is that at this point, force of gravity is exactly equal to the upward force which I have given. But since it is in the motion, it will keep moving with the uniform velocity, Newton's first law. The body will continue, it will not stop. So the concept I am telling you is only for what? Making you understand what exactly is the theory. But it won't stop. Will it stop? Why? Why it won't stop? Because at the moment when two forces are equal, it is in the motion. So it will continue to be the same of that motion, uniform motion. So it will start moving down. This velocity is called terminal velocity. So by calculating this terminal velocity, the droplet has gone from, let us say we calibrate that the droplet has gone from here to here. We know the distance is how much, we know the time from outside, we can find this velocity V, in which it goes off. By terminal velocity, we can eliminate mass. So you have to take the second part which is given in the book, and that is higher physics of plus 12 years. Sir, why has he taken only oil? 
What, what else you can do? You take that which can have. What do you want to take here? Water. It's very difficult to take out. Uh, he, he will take that oil through it to when it moves through this, electrons are either taken out or given to it. It has to be charged. What problem may also be having? But he will take the oil which has got where the electrons can be easily taken away or added. So he has what he has actually taken, you should check in the book. Which oil he has taken? What are the properties of that oil? Let's see what is the repression of the repression. In fact, what is happening in between this and this? There is vacuum can be created, but there is a lot of vapors because of this vapors. So anything which is falling through, even rain droplets, when these fall through the air, they do not fall with uh, speed, they fall with the uniform velocity, general velocity. Only the hail, extremely difficult to balance their weight with the buoyant force of the air. They fall with acceleration, not equal to g, less than g. But here with the terminal velocity, where if I throw even this chalk in the air, the air is then the buoyancy of the air which pushes it up, but that force is extremely small. Weight is too much large. So it will fall with a force equal to weight minus buoyant force. 